Welcome. In this video, we will look at how we can utilize catch weight management functionality in S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management. A catch weight item is an item stocked in one unit, such as pieces, but valued and priced in a weight unit, such as kilograms. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. Before kicking off, let's look briefly at the benefits of catch weight management in EWM. First, it helps you manage requirements for products with variable weight, as required in specific industries. It does so, by enabling you to buy, stock and sell products in parallel units of measure. Finally, it secures accurate valuation and pricing of stocked and sold goods. Let us also spend a few seconds to get a good grip on what catch weight management is and what defines a catch weight product. A catch weight is simply a parallel unit of measure used to manage variable weight products. The catch weight unit is the unit that represents the actual weight of the sales unit for a particular item. It is used when the conversion rate between units and the parallel unit of measure, such as weight, varies for each individual product and can't be defined by a constant factor. In some cases, the parallel unit of measure may even vary over time, for the same particular item, as it may gain or lose weight over the course of time. For catch weight items we must, as we will see in our demo, Record both the number of pieces as well as the weight while handling them in the warehouse. If we have a look at a catch weight material in the warehouse product maintenance app, we can see that this product has been defined with some alternative units of measure. We can see, by looking at the two first lines, that the standard conversion between unit and weight is set to 1 kg per piece. Moving to the right, we can see that the second line has been defined as a parallel unit of measure. If we move to the storage tab, we can see that a tolerance group has been assigned to the product. Although the average weight per unit is 1 kilo, we will accept some deviations from that, since we know that each unit comes with its own unique weight. We can also have a quick look into the warehouse monitor, and the available stock view. We can see that our product is available, in three different bin locations in the warehouse, 120 in total. By opening one of the handling units, we can see that the 60 units within this specific HU, has a total weight of 72 kilos, equaling an average of 1,2 kilos per piece. We will look at two different scenarios. One inbound and one outbound process. In the inbound scenario, we will create a purchase order and the subsequent inbound delivery document. We will receive and pack it. Then do the put away of the new handling unit with an RF device. Catch weight will be recorded on the device. We will end the demo by looking at the recorded data through the warehouse monitor. For our outbound scenario, we will create a sales order, an outbound delivery document, and then process it in EWM. We will further use both a warehouse monitor and a handheld device. The warehouse monitor to keep us informed, and the RF device to do the picking and recording of the catch weight for the picked item. Let's do the inbound process first. The inbound process starts with the creation of a purchase order. As fast as we can, we create a purchase order for 60 pieces of a catch weight controlled product. After the creation of the purchase order, we need to prepare for the receipt of the goods by creating an inbound delivery document. In the Create Inbound Delivery app, we enter the purchase order number in Presco. Our product is batch controlled, and since we have not received an advanced shipping notification from the supplier, we need to create a batch and add relevant batch data manually. Similarly, we add packaging data by creating one handling unit for the 60 pieces. Before we can successfully create the inbound delivery, we need to add a reference for the ASN, the advanced shipping notification. We kick off the warehouse processes by performing the goods receipt, and then create the relevant put away task. Since warehouse task has been created, we can have a quick look in the warehouse monitor and check the status. By searching for our inbound delivery, we can see that the put away task has been assigned to warehouse order 2009910. We will now perform the put away task by using the RF device. Since we know the warehouse order number, 
we will do the put away by warehouse order number. First, we need to confirm the handling unit identifier. Since this is a catch weight product, the system prompts us to record, in addition to the 60 pieces, the total weight for the 60 units. We save the recorded weight and complete the put away task by confirming the put away bin location. Before we conclude the inbound process, let's once again visit the warehouse monitor. A quick look at the confirmed put away warehouse task shows us that the recorded quantity and weight has been recorded properly. A look at the available stock overview confirms the put away bin of the new handling unit. By clicking on the handling unit identifier, we can once again get confirmation of that it contains 60 pieces, with a total weight of 72 kilograms. It is now time to do the outbound scenario and see how catch weight is recorded during picking. We kick off the scenario by creating a sales order. Again, as quickly as we can, we create a sales order, consisting of one unit of our catch weight controlled item. To move on, we use the Create Outbound Delivery app to create the subsequent outbound delivery document. When the outbound delivery document has been created, we can process it further in EWM by using the Process Outbound Delivery app. We initiate the warehouse processes by manually creating the warehouse task. By clicking on the warehouse tasks, we can drill down further. In the first screen, we can see the warehouse order number. With the warehouse order number at hand, we can switch to the RF device and do the picking. We pick by warehouse order. We create the relevant HU, confirm the pick bin location, as well as the product. When prompted for the weight, we deliberately use the wrong decimal separator, resulting in a value far beyond the tolerance. We correct it, save, and confirm the pick task. We move the pick HU to the goods issue zone and are done. It's time to take a look in the warehouse monitor. A closer look at the confirmed pick tasks, confirms what we already know, a recorded weight of 1.1 kilograms. The functionality shown in this video is available in S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management, embedded and decentralized. It is also available in Classic SAP Extended Warehouse Management 9.x. Let us recap the benefits of catch weight management in EWM. First, it helps you manage requirements for products with variable weight, as required in specific industries. It does so, by enabling you to buy, stock and sell products in parallel units of measure. Finally, it secures accurate valuation and pricing of stocked and sold goods. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.